Space Engineers Survive and Thrive Multiplayer Start begins now. Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. This is Enigma and I have my son with me, Captain Joe. This is the Survive and Thrive tutorial series that we're going to go through uh, and start something new here for you guys. Uh, we're going to use the Start Emergency Recovery Kit that I developed. It's on the workshop. I'll provide a link for you in the description. Uh, but this particular episode, we're going to focus on just getting this set up so you can do it yourself. I'll keep it short and sweet. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. And um, do what it can to research uh, what you need. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. And we want to go to custom game. Go down to the solar system because we want some planets. We don't want to start with an empty world. We do want to have some planets here. This will be a survival game. I'm going to call this start multiplayer. I do want to have uh, my son join me so I will set this to two players online mode. I don't want to autosave. I like to save uh, my files um, when I want to. I don't want my saves to be overwritten. I'm going to go here to advanced and we're going to select realistic settings all the way through. This is because the start kit is de designed for realistic settings. I don't want to torture myself though after a while. As soon as I accomplish the aims of the kit, I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, set some of those to, to faster speed. Um, I mean, the idea is to challenge myself, but not to make it tedious. Uh, we're going to set the environment hostility here to to normal. Uh, we're not going to set the cataclysm. I mean, that's we played on that uh, last night, didn't we, uh, Captain Joe? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, that was that was pretty insane, wasn't it? Um, we had uh, lots of meteor spawning. Even though we uh, we dug a hidey hole uh, out for ourselves um, uh, to protect ourselves from <laughs> those meteors, they eventually found us and, and wiped out our battery even deep underground. So uh, we're gonna set this to normal for now. And but the, I did like it. Yeah, it was but pretty, I did like it. It was pretty intense, wasn't it? <laughs> Only if we dug a little deeper. You want to try it again? Yeah. Yep. And then as soon as we get the the base built, maybe we calm it down. Yeah, yeah but this time we go 100 meters, not 20. <laughs> But we'll dig down deep. All right, uh, we're gonna set the asteroid amount. Uh, that's fine. Basics. All these other settings, pretty much default uh, day duration, max objects. We'll just keep that for now. We'll adjust them as we go. Uh, maximum backup saves. I want to have you know at least a hundred uh, for sure. Uh, that's fine. Um, what do you see there, Captain Joe? Anything I need to change on here? Yeah, the PCU. The PCU, we're going to keep that here for now. Uh, we'll increase it, as I said, as we go along. Yeah. We want to set the auto healing. Yep. Uh, spectator, we want that. Re uh, delete the response ship for sure. Uh, don't want to reset ownership. No permanent death. Keep all these things defaulted. Um, in game scripts, we're going to enable that for now. We're going to have cargo ships as well. Uh, ships that we can now uh, maybe may pilfer from time to time. Hey, Enigma. What's up? Um, I need to get a drink of water. I'll be back in two minutes. You go for it. You go for it. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up uh, 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 random encounters, uh, and we're going to un uh, not. We're going to spawn without tools. You don't need tools with this kit. We definitely want to enable drones. You can hear the ominous music, as well as spiders on the planets. We need wolves. I believe we'll spawn on the Earth-like planet and spiders on the alien-like planet. We'll probably go into land at some point, maybe. Uh, mobile infantry style to clean up shop on the alien world. We'll, we'll take a look here. Uh, the good news is is that um, right now this is being recorded in Space Engineers 188, but uh, the Keen Software House, the makers of Space Engineers, have uh, commented uh, that they're next intent for the uh, for, uh, for an update is to provide content the idea meaning that they're going to provide means for us to overbuild our our, our, our battleships and, and stations and bases so that definitely sounds like content to me that's coming we'll go and play the content that's currently in this game right now uh, in this current state and as uh, we get new content in the future or maybe even through mods we might be able to go do that 
I want to go ahead and enable friendly damage for now to see how that works out. And we're going to take off unknown signals because we don't we don't really want to be cheating at the start. I mean, it, it, the idea here is that these signals can drop drop off cargo supplies nearby that you can scavenge. We don't need that with this kit. Um, we want to be self-sufficient as possible, and that's what we're going to do. We definitely need to enable the respawn ships initially when we create this. So that's what we're going to do. Um, probably also want to go ahead and add the mods right now too. I want to go ahead and these are just quality of life mods. Um, bare bones minimum, you can do whatever you want. They don't actually change any, anything else in the game. I do want to have the ability to have inter animated interaction. This uh, allows me to visually see uh, where um, uh, other players in the game, you know, what consoles they're, interact they're interacting with. Um, you'll see how that works. Um, we're going to go also do Space Just Got Real. This is controversial. It uh, um, changes the, the, the default to skybox uh, as well as the shadows to make them more realistic as if you really were in space. It just makes your shadows darker uh, and the skybox a lot darker too, um, just as you would as if you were really there. So we'll just go keep those mods in there. This is ready. We're going to actually enter this mode into uh, we'll set up in creative for now uh, so that we can go ahead and, and sh demonstrate the best way to find uh, locations. Hello everybody, I'm back. Welcome back, Captain Joe. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and spawn myself in here. And you just hit respawn now and you'll notice you'll be out in space. Possibly floating. I'm not on the dark side of the planet, it looks like use the Q and E keys to kind of rotate myself around. Um, looks like I'm actually on the planet, so that means Hold on a minute. stable at this point. I'm going to hit F8 to spectate, and this will bring me to a spot out in space where I'll be able to see the planets. There's Mars-like planet there and its moon, Earth-like one there, and I think the alien planets is over there, so... Um, yeah, there's um, Earth, there's the moon, there's Mars, and the alien planet. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and, and use this observation mode to get closer to the moon and pick out a spot and then respawn my character there. To do that, I need to hold down the shift key, hit the W key, uh, and then while holding that shift key, I'm going to push up the scroll wheel. And when you hold it, when you scroll, uh, scroll wheel up, shift scroll wheel up, it'll actually move faster and you can control the rate at which you're flying in obser obser observer mode here. Like so, a superhero. That's right. And here I'm going to get to the moon. I'm going to slow down as I get to the moon. Just going to scroll down a bit. Shift, scroll down. And we're just going to pick a spot here. Uh, you can scout around if you want to. I don't really want to do that yet. I just want to kind of pretend like I'm coming into a crash landing. And we're going to just go and crash it right here ourselves in this crater. Now you could start the scenario however you want. You could you know make a ship, spawn it in crash it yourself, make a whole story out of it, that's just fine. Uh, who knows, I don't know what we're going to do with the with our first official episode, but I think I think we're going to probably want to start, uh, do you want to start in a crater? Um, how about we find a place that's a little bit sheltered, because we are on Cataclysm, and second of all, there are resources. That's and right. also, I, and also I have an Ultima <laughs> microphone. I also have an open mind for solar panels. Well, I want to place it on sunny, so. sunny, rainy sources, and protected. Unless I need something flat too. It's easiest to do it when flat. Adjust my speed here. I need something flat is what you're looking for. Any space bar to kind of float up. There we go. There we Sweet. go. This looks nice. This looks like a nice spot. We'll just uh, plop it here in a crater. Hold on. I saw a little ridge. You want to get out of here? Just do you want to get up here? Over here. Let me help you a little bit. That spot right there. That oh. might be a good place. Start. Alright. We'll just go ahead and we'll just begin it here then. To go and spawn in your character, um, just do control spacebar and if you look around, you should see your character in here. Ah, there I am, upside down. Um, notice I'm in observer mode still float around my character if I want. To go back to my character, just hit F6. Takes me back in to my character. Now I can go ahead and land. And I have landed, hitting X 
turn off my thrusters. So. Now, remind it. This is not a tutorial video. Um, not like you would expect for the entire game. This is just based on the circuit. So what we're gonna do next is I need to create a spawn point for my son to spawn in with me now. Um, I don't believe we're online yet. If you hit refresh on your join game there, you should see the game. Go and join in the game there. If I hit F2, I can see other players. I think I hit F2. F1, F2, should be F2. F3, F3 um, shows your other player screen here. Um, and I'm just waiting for Captain Joe to spawn in. While he does that, I'm going to go ahead and hit F10 on my keyboard to bring up the uh, blueprint uh, copy paste menu. I'm going to select the medical bay that I created for myself here. You can go ahead and create this uh, as well. It's just kind of a, a spawn point, just nothing but a, uh, a med station with a battery on the top of it here. I'm going to hit B here to kind of unlock it from rotating like that and then use the home and insert page up delete uh, keys basically they're your arrow keys translated upwards yeah but not all objects follow those rules like landing gear big ones especially all right now you should be able to go ahead and spawn into there if i open it up make sure the block is shared with all did you get in on the server yet three two one getting loaded in there you are i'm gonna go and promote you have access to some of these commands. Alright, and I noticed that you're red, you need to join my faction, so go ahead and hit K on your uh, on your keyboard there, and then go to factions. I'm going to create one here for us. I'm going to call it Enigma Industries, because our storyline will be uh, that we're employees of the industry, that we were kidnapped by pirates, and now they've dropped us off uh, to die on this moon. So. Um, you're now accepted. Uh, now, if you were actually in the survival mode game, it wouldn't automatically accept, I don't believe. You'd have to actually uh, select and then click on accept to accept them. So Are you going to accept me? Oh, you already did. Yep, you're now green to me. So now I'm going to do control delete uh, whilst uh, pointing my cursor at that object. Or that! Or that. Or you can have someone else delete, delete it for you like that, correct? Um, let's see here. We're going to now spawn in our box. But you know what? I'm not going to do it in creative mode. We're already here, you and I. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go up on top here. So we're going to turn on our jets. Our story is going to start. Oh, I know. In this crater. In this crater? Yeah. That's a little bit too deep. Let's go over here. This place was also flatter. Um, we're going to start our story right here. Go and come over next to me, and I'll go and I'll save it. Ah! There we go. There we go. Now you landed. Good job. All right. Hit G on your keyboard, and right-click your entire toolbar to kind of clear it out. Make sure there's nothing in your inventory. And that's that mod allowing you to um, have that extra animation there. It's kind of cool. So, to toggle my HUD, just you can uh, hit tab and that just gets rid of your, um, your entire HUD. How about we jump into survival next? Let's go try that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save our progress. We're not going to exit. load up the game and there is our multiplayer game oh. we did save it didn't we <laughs> oh come on pretty sure we did oh I think that one that's that one might be using an old screenshot that's fine no worries we're gonna just edit this it's yeah it's currently creative we got the two um, we're going to do advanced again just to confirm everything is set the way we want it to no signals spiders we got we got drones we got spiders no tools perfect there all realistic cataclysm 
<laughs> you sure you want to do Cataclysm again? All right. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to do uh, mods. Just make sure the mods are there. Good. We got the mods. So this game is now set. We're going to go ahead and save that. And now, now it's ready to be loaded. We're just going to go ahead and load that up um, in our next episode. But uh, for now, um, just wanted to say thank you for watching. Um, and uh, we hope to see you in episode one of our Survive and Thrive multiplayer series. Say goodbye. See you guys. Bye, everyone.